sisters, we are back to the class. We will be learning adjectives, which is called not. Huh? Now, if there is an adjective, then it qualifies a noun. Huh? So we call it noun qualified. Huh? What do you call in Arabic? Manaud. Okay, also it's called What is it called? Mausuf. Sifat Mausuf. Naat Manaud. But let us only try to concentrate on Naat Manaud. Huh? Okay. What is manut? Manut is noun qualified. What is manut? Noun qualified. And uh, in English, brothers and sisters, it's different from Arabic. And Arabic is very precise. And when I understood, I said this is a really logical way of qualifying a noun. In English we say, good boy. What is good? Adjective. Adjective. But it came first. And the boy came afterwards. But in Arabic it will be boy. What about it? It's good. Uh, so adjective will come after the noun. Okay? The noun qualified will come before it. Good boy is in English. Arabic will be boy good. All the time. Boy beautiful. Uh, girl beautiful. Okay, it will come. The adjective will come afterwards. Now, there are four things you have to understand in adjectives. <coughs> there is a special relationship between adjective and noun qualified. Very special relationship. What is the first relationship? Uh, First is gender. What is gender, brothers and sisters? Masculine and feminine. Okay? So if manaut, noun qualified, is mournness, then the adjective will be mournness. If the noun qualified is muzakkar, masculine, the adjective will be masculine. Number one condition. Number second condition, brothers and sisters. Number. What is it, brother? Number. If the noun qualified is singular, the adjective will be singular. If the noun qualified is dual, the adjective will be dual. If the noun qualified is plural, the adjective will be plural. Okay, that is the second thing. Okay, and then we have number third condition, brothers and sisters. Being definite and indefinite. What is it? Third condition is being Definite and indefinite. If the manaut noun qualified is indefinite, the adjective will be indefinite. If it is definite, it will be definite. Are you with me? Okay. And now, brothers and sisters, what is the last eh, case ending? Dun dan din. What is last? Case ending. If the noun qualified, manaut, is marfu, the adjective will be marfu. If, uh, I will write down here, case ending. Uh, number four is uh, case ending. Uh, if it is, if the Noun qualified is mansub, it will be mansub. If the noun qualified is 
Majroor, it will be Majroor. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, are you following? Not you. Man hadar rajulu. What is the translation? Who is this man? Who wa? Abbasun. What is it? Abba. What is who Abbasun? He is Abbas. So who is Mubtada? What is Abbasun? Khabar. One word. Huh? Mufrat. Fine. Abbasun Tajirun. Abbas is a merchant. Abbas Mubtada. Tajirun. Khabar. Now. Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. What is the translation? Rich man. So rich came in English first. But in Arabic, it will come afterwards. Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. So Ghaniyun came afterwards. So what is Ghaniyun, brothers and sisters? Adjective. What is it? Not. Where is Manut? Where is Manut? Tajirun. Eh? The noun qualified is Tajirun. Now do you see the relationship in this brother? Tajirun is Muzakkar. Ghaniyun is Muzakkar. Tajirun is indefinite. Ghaniyun is indefinite. Tajirun is Marfu. Ghaniyun is Marfu. Okay. Tajirun is singular. Ghaniyun is singular. Do you see the relationship? They have a relationship, they follow each other. Okay? Hamidun mudarrisun. Mubtada khabar. Hamidun mudarrisun jadidun. Are you with me? So what is mudarrisun? Manaut. Where is the naat? Jadidun. Can you see the relationship? Uh, inshallah. So please write down this somewhere in your notebook and then you can you can uh, reflect on it because this will help us all the way through book and all the way in the Quran. It will help us. Mahaza. What is this? We don't analyze, only translate. Haza tufahun. This is an apple. At tufahu. Now at tufahu. But the Hada Mubtada Tufahun Khabar. Now we are talking about the apple. At Tufahu. See, Mubtada definite. Mubtada will be most of the time definite. At Tufahu. What about Tufahu? Fakihatun. Ladizatun. Fakihatun. Ladizatun. Okay, now you see. Fakihatun. Tun, tun, tun. Feminine. Huh? So the nath became tun tun tun. Okay? Lazida tun. Okay? Are you with me, brothers? Yes. Uh, say loudly, sister. Uh, the manut will be first. And then the nath will come. In English, the nath comes first and manut comes afterwards. Good man. Huh? Good man. But in, in, English, in Arabic it will be Rajulun Tayyibun. Huh? Rajulun Tayyibun. So where is Manut, sister? Rajulun. Huh? And where is the Nath? Tayyibun. Ma Zalika, what is that? Zalika Usfurun. Huh? Zalika Usfurun. Okay? The, the, the bird. Huh? No, no, say it again, brother. No, what is Tufahu? Mubtada. Where is the Khabar? Fakiyatum. Depends. It depends. It can be anywhere. But the relationship is that there will be manut and then there will be anat. Anywhere, brother. Even, even fine can be manut. Huh? Anything can be manut, brother. It has to be a noun. 
That manut can come as a file, can come as a muftada, can come as a khabar, can come as a ism majroor, can come as a mudafilay, and then nath will follow. Okay? They, uh, they will always be together. Okay, remember we read in the lesson, I'm sure we read it, Al Madinatul Munawwaratu. Huh? Al Madinatul Al Munawwaratu. So what is Al Munawwaratu? Not. Oh, where is Manut? Madina. Watch for it, Salman. It's, it's not anyway, it can come anyway. Huh? Uh, what was the sentence? Aina Masjidur Rasulullah. Aina Masjidur Rasulullah. What was the answer? Huwa Huwa Fil Madinati. So what is Fil Madinati? Jar Majru. Now if the Madinati is Manut, the Naat will come. Al Munawwara Ti. Are you with me? 